Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am Warren C and I wanted to finish off where I left off on the previous video where I talked about basically one of the main reasons I think you go out to do street photography, which is for the experiences that you gain. Um, life is all about experiences. So as you guys recall from that video, I talked about going to another location. I decided to go head down to Eastern Market in Detroit and decided to basically kind of do a kind of head to head, if you will. I normally don't do head to heads like this, um, but thought, you know, I want to see how the XS20 does for street photography. And why not go ahead and bring the X Pro 3 out with me as well and kind of see how they both play using them together, which one is better in a sense for how I would want to use them. So I went out and shot primarily the XF30 macro. So I got some video snippets and things like that to show. We'll do the XS21 with some video snippets. I'm gonna warn you right now, I was a little fast in my movement um, and I wish I would have slowed down a little bit more and got a little bit more smoother video, if you will. But I'll show you guys a video regardless. So you see how it is and you make your judgment call there along with some images. And then I will then do the X Pro 3 along with some images next and a video snippet. All right, so now that you guys have seen the video and seen the images, you know, again, using this for street, I love the 30 macro. I think it's a super versatile lens. I did a video about it. So hit my archive of videos and you'll definitely see it. Maybe I'll put a card somewhere up for it. But when it comes to comparing the two cameras, of course, they're two different styles of cameras. The SS20 is more DSLR-like, where the X-Pro3 is more rangefinder-like. I like the fact that the X Pro 3 has a flip screen. I think the flip screen on that and the XT series with the exclusion of the XT4, those are optimal for me for shooting street because it allows me to set up the LCD on the back and shoot from the hip. It allows me to play with the camera to the point where folks don't even know I'm taking a picture. Um, so I, that to me gets the nod toward the X Pro 3 when it comes to use of the LCD, sc LCD screen, excuse me, because of course on the XS10 or X, XS series now, since there's two bodies, the XH2 series, the XT4 is the video flip out screen, which is great for video, but can get in the way or stick out a little too much or protrude in the awkward way when you're shooting street. And I, again, prefer the other one. So when it comes to build quality, you already know how I feel about the X Pro 3. That camera is a tank. I've dropped my X-Pro3 a few times and it just laughed. I think the most recent drop, I finally put a ding in it, which just of course, in my opinion, adds character, especially for the type of body that is and how it looks. Fantastic, stylish camera. Love that camera. Love to be out with it. Always get comments about it. And it's built like a tank, but you pay the price for it. When it comes to the X-T20, I already said from my previous videos, as far as my weekend with this camera, running through its paces, the build quality is fantastic. I put it up there with the X-H2s and I just love the way it feels, but it isn't gonna edge out the X-Pro3 in my opinion. It just feels more premium in its build quality. So the X-Pro3 gets it there. When it comes to video, hands down, XS20. The video features are phenomenal. With that new processor in there, you get more autofocus settings. 
I autofocus, burst, everything that's in the X-H2. You get it, 6.2 open gain. The X-Pro3, that wasn't even a thing when it came out. So there you go. There's really no if, ands, or buts. The added bonus that I've talked about on a very distant video now when I think about it is the record button that's on this camera and the other cameras in its series along with the X-H2. I just love it. It makes it easier to hit that button from your basic setup for video, record, hit that button again, and then go right back to taking images. So when I go to the giving the video nod to the XS10, operational wise, going from video to stills, XS10 as well. It's a little cumbersome with the X Pro 3, having hit that drive button, use the toggle to scroll to video, hit it and go, and hope that you still can capture the moment. You have to pretty much be a little bit more um, ready to see the moment happening and prepare for it and have your camera going with the X Pro 3 so that you capture it. When it comes to as far as the image quality, you guys tell me looking at the video content or excuse me, the image content in the video, um, they're both on par. Even though this has a new sensor, which means it's faster. And I did notice that it was definitely faster than the X Pro 3, but that's that difference in the processors. Um, but 26 megapixel sensor, same 26 megapixel sensor, same great image as far as I'm concerned. As far as simulations and other features, XS20 is newer camera, so it's got more film simulations in it and so forth. So it'll get the little bit of an edge on the imaging for that. When it comes to street use though, both cameras I think did a fantastic job. And the reason I say that is because I had the XS10 before the XS20 for over a year and shot it everywhere. When it comes to versatility, the X, XS10, excuse me, is way more versatile. It's way more of a true hybrid all arounder. Go everywhere with camera. It's small, you put the right lenses on it and you have a serious package. Can't say that with the X-Pro3. It is pretty much the way it's styled to be, pretty much a stills camera. Um, but most people that get that camera get it because of its styling because and, and the fact that they're gonna go out and I think me personally, I use it a lot for street photography. I'm thinking most people will too. But again, it's your gear, you use it how you want. So ultimately when it comes down to it, how well did they do? Well, I say the XS20 did a fantastic job keeping up and surpassing the X Pro 3 in some ways. Um, but when it came to downright to styling, X Pro 3 all the way, images, great, both of them tied. Video, again, XT20. Would I go out with this combo again? Absolutely, because I thought it was a nice trade-off. But, well, I travel with it. So that's another video. I think what I'll do is go out with the XS20 and the X100V as my new travel setup and see how that does. But ultimately, I think, especially based on cost, the XS20 did a phenomenal job in being able to go out there and be a great street, for cam street camera, excuse me, for me and it paired with the 30 macro was just phenomenal you guys again let me know in the comments what you think i love the inaction that we're getting love you guys for all of the growth we see on the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys on the next video have a good rest of your week